Hi, Stefan Svartling here. In this video I will talk about Reader, an app for Mac, iPhone and iPad and how you can use Reader as a news server on your Mac for your iPhone and iPad. And as I said, Reader is available for both Mac, iPhone and iPad, so you can easily install it by buying Reader 5, the latest version. And the Reader app uses RSS feeds to collect all the news you should read and so on. So in the Reader app on your Mac, you should set the settings for the feeds. As you can see here, feeds, right click on that and take account settings. And here you should set syncing to 30 minutes. You can set it for even faster and so on. but. Uh, some uh, new sources will actually ban you if you do more often than 30 minutes. So I recommend to set 30 minutes here. And it should also sync or wake up from sleep if your Mac is sleeping uh, often and so on. This feature should not be on on the Mac because this is the different from your iPhone version I will show you later because on this Mac, it should fetch all your news sources for, for you. By fetching all the news sources on this Mac, you don't have to waste any battery life on your iPhone and iPad. Because all the news will be ready on your iPhone and iPad because it uses iCloud. So if you only fetch the news in the Mac version, your Mac can act as a news server for you. That's really good. And keep archived items always have on that because I often use search when using readers. So I can search for different topics I want to read about that the reader for Mac has collected for me. So if you have this on always, it will always collect everything and store it in the archive if you have read them and so on so you can still search for everything the reader app has collected for you and then you have some other features to do here but that is mostly stuff you can for personal use if you want this version of reader should act as a server so the important feature was this you should not have, don't fetch on this Mac on and every 30 minutes and always. So now we have done the reader app for Mac as your server because it will collect everything. But how to collect uh, different topics, for example, where should you get the RSS feeds from, for example? I often use uh, Reddit or Google News to make RSS feeds and I will show you now how you can make an RSS feed from a search or subreddit from reddit.com. So here we have Reddit, this, the start page of Reddit. So if I want to search for something I am interested in. So for example, if I search for, uh, let's say, OBS Studio. Now I can search for UBS Studio. Here we have a search for UBS Studio. And from these search results, you try to find a subreddit for uh, UBS Studio if you can find any. Or otherwise, you can search for subreddits only. But here we find the subreddit for UBS Studio. Click on that so you open up the subreddit. Now grab the URL, as you can see at the top there, copy it so you have it in your clipboard. Then we go back to the Reader app. And from here, we should add a new news source by clicking on the plus button, as you can see there. And from here, you paste the URL. And in the last part of the URL, you add .rss, then this will be a RSS feed from the subreddit UBS Studio. And 
click search, it finds an RSS feed as you can see. Click on that um, and add to folder. And as you can see, I can't add this to my RSS reader because I have already subscribed to this. So, but uh, if you don't have, you should click so this will be selected and add to folder. Then you will be subscribing to this RSS feed. So sorry for that. After that, you will find this, uh, that RSS feed where you have stored it. I have stored it here, as you can see. Here is the RSS feed for OBS Studio that I have subscribed to. So I can read a lot about the news here and so on. Really cool. I like that. So how will this look on the iPhone and iPad then? So now we switch to my iPhone on the table. Here we have my iPhone 13 Pro. And here we have the reader app on my iPhone. So here we have the read later service. I use the built-in reader read later service for articles I want to read later. And here we have my feeds. So we have the same feeds now as my news server on my Mac. The Reader 5 app on my Mac has collected on my iPhone. And at the top you can see when it was last fetched on the iPhone. And uh, that is exactly now actually. So no battery loss or whatsoever. So if I want to read something from my iPhone now, I can just click on read articles and I can go through here and read everything that the Reader 5 app on my Mac has collected for me. So if I want to read about Firefox here, for example, I can read about Firefox. I can read the co complete article here from Reddit with comments and everything if I want to. So I can also go into different categories like for example Apple here. I can go in and read about Apple news and uh, click on any of these articles to read if I want. And I've done settings uh, so that when I scroll through articles they will be marked as red so they will go to my archived articles because all articles are stored in iCloud for me as you saw on Reader 5 on the Mac. So that is how it looks on my iPhone. How does it look on my iPad then? We have my iPad Air 4 here. So here we have the iPad Air 4, as you can see, everything looks the same, but my iPad Air 4 is always home and on my charger often. So I have actually done the iPad Air 4 as a backup server. So it also collects my news for me in the background so it fetches all the news as exactly as, as a reader 5 on my mac do so if i long press on this and go to account settings you can see that it have background refresh uh, but it doesn't fetch on this ipad is off so that means that it fetches the news for me in the background so both my Mac version and the iPad Air 4 version do that because they are always on power and home so you can fetch everything for your iPhone so the iPhone will not waste any battery life and I forget to show you how the settings for reader on the iPhone looks uh, let's show you we have the count settings here. As you see, don't fetch the on, the on this iPhone. As you see there, don't fetch on this iPhone. And that means that they, it never fetches the news from the news sources itself. It only adds the new news from iCloud in the background. As you can see, background refresh. But you can also have manually or on start here. So. 
Uh, I have to do some background refresh because uh, it uh, doesn't use so much uh, battery life by doing that. It only fetches from the iCloud database uh, that syncs between my iPhone, iPad and Mac, never directly from the different news sources. So that is how I have plenty of news to read in different categories as you can see here. Apple Apps, MISC, Reading, Security and Privacy and Tech. MISC is um, uh, local news and so on. Uh, stuff that is from my home country and uh, hometown. Security and Privacy, you, uh, you know what that is. Tech, tech news is um, a lot of gadgets and so on. Uh, we have apps, it's different apps like UBS Studio that you saw before and Apple News for example. But I usually just go into unread and go here and search for anything to read for example about DNS. Then I can search for DNS news so I can read about that for example. Or I can search for uh, UBS Studio for example. And this is only the news I haven't read. So if I want to, <laughs> that's me, my article on my website. So if I want to also read everything that is in the archive, I can do uh, this. I choose everything. Now I have everything about UBS Studio. If I search UBS Studio, so even articles that I have read before shows up and with this only those that I haven't read. So that is how I have created a news server on my Mac and have my iPad as my <laughs> news backup. So I have these two, the iPad and the Mac as a server to collect all my news that I want to read and I add news feeds from the web, from different blogs, websites, Reddit, Google News and so on. To add a Google News feed you just search for it, something you are interested in on Google News and take that URL and paste it into Reader. And you have all the news from that search. So you can search for, for example, uh, iPad Air 4 on Google News and take that URL and paste it into Reader by going here and the plus button, paste the URL here. No adding of RSS or whatsoever that you did with the Reddit subreddit, but uh, just paste the URL and it finds an RSS feed that you can subscribe to. So that is how I add my news sources on my iPad and my iPhone. So that was uh, how I have done a news server that collects all the news I want to read on my Mac. So I can read them on all my devices, my iPhone, iPad and Mac if I want. And it's quite easy to do this. So you just have a Mac at home and my Mac is already a web server. So it's not so hard for me to uh, have Reader 5 in the background collecting all the news because my Mac is always on. My Mac Mini M1, M1 is always on as a server for me. So it's not so hard for me to do. And uh, having that collect all the news for me, that makes uh, the Reader 5 version on my iPhone. It doesn't waste any battery life whatsoever. So it only syncs to the iCloud quite easily. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, bye.